Timothy, I charge thee in the sight of God, keep the commandment and keep your character without spot and keep your conscience unrebukable until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ. He says in the earlier verses, verses 11 and 12 and 13, there are some things we ought to flee and some things we ought to follow and some things we ought to fight. The story is told by George Chivas, an old preacher who was walking down the main street in Toronto, Young Street, and he was just kind of sauntering along. He was waiting for a friend. And he wasn't paying much attention to what was in the windows. He was kind of daydreaming. But all of a sudden, standing, gazing in this window, he noticed that someone inside was motioning him to come in. And he looked, and it was this old hag of a woman, a witch. She, with her long finger, was calling him in. It was a fortune teller's place. He said, it so shocked me, I turned on my heels and I ran as fast as I could right down Young Street. And then he said, young people, sometimes it's not fight the good fight, it's flee the good flight. Get out. The Bible says, flee idolatry. Flee youthful lusts. Flee these things. And then follow. There are some things we're going to have to follow. That is a commitment to carry on in a thing. To follow righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. And then there are some things we have to fight. We need to have our sword out of the scabbard. Some of us have great big scabbards and little rubber swords. We don't have a grip on the word of God. We couldn't do any damage to the enemy if we wanted to. We've got to know the book, and the sword is out of the sheath, and it's used for for victory over the enemy. So he calls on his good friend Timothy that he stand for God, because someday the Lord Jesus is going to come back And he's going to show us who he really is. He is the Lord. Now this is the day of his rejection. And it's a privilege that we have today that we will not have in a day to come. Once the Lord Jesus returns, you won't be able to identify with him. This is the day of his rejection. The men who gathered with David at the cave of Adullam were the ones that rode in his vanguard, in his glory, into the city of Jerusalem. And someday, when every knee bows and every tongue confesses, well, that'll be a wonderful day. But now you can bow the knee. Now you can acknowledge his lordship. Now you can identify with him in the day of his rejection. I think that's special to him. And he wants us to do it. He says, do this until the appearing of our Lord Jesus. He is the only potentate, the King of kings and Lord of lords.